Welcome back guys, here's a quick video on covering the fuselage. I have it upside down so I can do the bottom first. I put the anti-chafing tape on the wooden stringers and then I covered the bottom. I didn't really film it, but you'll see how the process is done in this and other videos. This is what the bottom looks like covered and completed. Once it was done, I flipped it on its side so that I could do the sides. And on the back of the airplane, there's two horizontal stabilizer tubes that come out from the side of the fuselage. So I laid the fabric on the fuselage, marked with a pencil where those tubes come out, and I just spread a little bit of glue on the fabric so that I could cut it without it fraying. And right here I'm using a kind of a nut washer combo to trace around it and cut out a hole that's the same size as the tubes. There's two places I have to do this. Once those two holes are cut out, I can put the fabric back on the fuselage, and since those tubes will go through the holes, it will lay nice and flat. All right, once those two holes are cut out, I put the fabric on the side of the fuselage and you'll see in the back where those two tubes will poke through the fabric. And you do have to kind of cut the holes out of the fabric because if you don't, the fabric won't lay flat on the fuselage and uh, it has to lay flat to get most of the wrinkles out and to get it flat around the edges so that you can glue it in place. Once I have it spread out on the fuselage, I'll go ahead and take a pair of scissors and just trim off all of this extra fabric. Now I've spread a line of glue on the fabric because what I want to do is make a nice pink cut, pink edge cut along the bottom because the side fabric will overlap on the outside of the bottom fabric. So I'm using my pinking scissors and you can see they cut a, a, just a line with a bunch of little triangles. And I just cut the whole length of the bottom like this to get a nice pink edge and then you'll see how that gets glued to the bottom. Here you can see the paint edge is glued down. It overlaps by just about an inch. So here's the bottom completed and the bottom of the side glued to the bottom. And you can see here, I've already have the leading and trailing edge of the vertical stab glued. Now with the fabric glued all around the perimeter, the next step is to shrink it. And this iron here is set to 250 degrees and the next one is at 350 degrees. And you'll notice right at the bottom forward part of the vertical stab is a pretty big wrinkle in the fabric. This is a really tricky area to get. And I remember the same area in my Rans S10, the first airplane that I covered. This was a tricky area just because of how it's glued on and the kind of the curves of the fuselage. So I'm using the iron to iron all around everywhere except that wrinkle. Because if I iron that wrinkle there, I'm going to iron a wrinkle into the fabric. So a trick is to use a heat gun and you have to be very careful doing this so you don't melt the fabric or over shrink it. But using a heat gun will get most of that or all of that wrinkle or fold out of the fabric uh, without you know, using an iron. Because using an iron, like I said, you can really iron in a crease or a fold in that fabric. So that's all I'm doing here is using a heat gun very carefully to shrink that wrinkle out of the fabric. And now once I'm done with the heat gun, I will go back with the iron just to press it all down. This is a 350 degree iron, just making sure it's all set to 350 degrees and it's shrunk as much as it should be. And now you can see it is shrunk perfectly around this complex curve with no wrinkles and it all looks fantastic. Now it's time to flip it over and do the left side. Well, to make this video, I used a bunch of clips that I have in my camera from probably a month ago when I actually did this work. I just put on the same shirt to make it look somewhat fluid. 
But the fuselage right now is actually complete. I just don't wanna show it to you yet because there's a couple more videos I have coming out of some of the work I did to get it to this point. I think the next video might be, it's either gluing on fabric or it's gluing on the pink tape. I have a video coming out on gluing on the inspection rings and making doilies that go over that. I got some polycarbonate and I made some exits for the, the rudder cables and the rudder, or the tail, the tail wheel steering cable that comes out of the bottom of the fuselage. And then there's a special tape that goes around the leading edge of the vertical stab because of that complex curve, you can't really use a regular two inch pink tape. So I'll, I'll show you how I did that. So there's a couple other videos coming out that will get you all the way up to the point of where the fuselage is at now, which is it's pretty much complete and ready for primer. So if you wanna see how that's done and you wanna follow along in that progress, just come back and watch the next couple of videos as they get posted.